me switch over to here. So who did we decide was batting first? Um. Uh, welcome back to Blacktown International Sports Park for this game, which is Japan Princess versus the New South Wales Slammers girls team. And what a wonderful game we've got. Oh, nice start there from the Princess. Lead off banner for Japan Princess, uniform number 20, China. Kusakabe. Uh, Kusakabe up to bat. Chin up. And she fouls that first one off down the line. I'm joined by Adam Collins. Cracking day we've got on here, mate. Yeah, beautiful day. Great softball. We've had that one game already. Japan Dreams taking that one out. Now the Princess here with it all to do. And Chin up. Kusakabe fouls the first one away. One ball, one strike. I'll go through this defensive lineup for the New South Wales team. And that ball goes through for a that pitch goes through for a ball right along the ground, so not getting into the zone. At pitching we've got Aman Zachari. And 
it's ball three, so a 3-1 count now. She's pitching through to Tia Brooker. And at first base, we have Bryn Elliott. Second base, Ashley Fryer. And a walk there for Chinna. Shortstop, Charlotte Bedwell. Third base, Rose Santana. The outfield looks this way. Laura Ludbrook is at left field. Centre field, Shataya Lucas. And at right field, Abby Barnes. So, new batter is Nanako Tanaguchi. New batter for Japan Princess. Number five, Nanako Tanaguchi. And Tanaguchi lets that first one go through for a ball. Nice play there. Oh, bunt tries put down. to put down the bunt. Just goes foul. Yeah, just dribbled down that third baseline. Yeah, that bat head just didn't get square enough around and was able to punch that ball forward. I always say it's critical when you're putting down a bunt that the top of the bat head must be in front of the knuckles holding the base or the bottom of the bat. It only takes a slight angle just to misdirect the hit. The runner takes a big lead, oh. but held in check by the catcher. Yeah. Kushakabi really took off there, but she was looking for the steal. Coach gives her the signal this time. And she takes off this time and does not look back. And she's slides in comfortably. Yeah, it really was an indication in that first game about the intent of the Japanese runners, and we can see early on just how all of the teams carry that intent right through this uh, these Japanese team structures. Another slap hit here. No, she's loaded right up and takes the walk. Takes a walk. So now runners at one and two here. New batter for Japan, number two, Yua Yamashita. And Yamashita now up to bat. Ooh, gets the tip of that, fouls it off into the back net. The catcher, Yamashita. And gets yeah, a good piece of that. But, oh, no, nice work. I was run about or to score. Say. That's it. Heads up, base running. Oh, look at that. On an infant, you know, we talk about, you hear people say easy plays, but there's no easy plays. They're regulation. That was an infield hit. Picked yep. up nicely to throw in time. But the small error where the ball goes a metre away from a fielder and the Japanese runners... Are right onto it. That's just yeah. so impressive. So they've advanced runners to two and three, plus scored a run. Oh, nice hit. Fry has done well just to stop that ball. But it scores the two runners. Nice hit there for Miyu Takashima. Brings to the plate now Corinne Arakawa. So Arakawa up to bat. Jumps out of the road of that one. Corinne. And Takashima, she crunched that ball out. It went straight to the second base, but just the power of the ball went through the glove and got to the outfield. And that was enough to score the two runners at two and three home for Japan. Again. 
Arakawa just patient batting, holding the hands back. He's got a 3 no count now. And again, the Japanese in the dugout all chanting away. And she gets ball four. New batter for Japan Princess. Number 14, China Kawai. Strike one. That's a better pitch from the New South Wales Slammers team. That one right through. Strike two. So again, Kawa. Getting the job done. She just... Let's say his first two. Ooh, Ooh, that looked like a swing. Interesting call here for the umpire. Yes, it was. Yeah. And it is strike three. You definitely thought that bat had broken its swing. Uniform number 25, the batter Tazumi Kiku. And straight back to the pitcher. She makes the play one to three. It's a regulation play that we talk about. Yep. That one had bounced up to the pitcher. She was able to pick it up and throw it straight to first base. You say it bounced up, but there's, sometimes those balls can take a nasty hop, so it's great fielding out there when it comes straight back at you like that. Yep. Definitely had a little bit of work to do. It was above her head. She had to leap up. And that first pitch for a strike. Kuomoto up to bat. Uniform number 15 in the box. Anzu Kawamoto. It's a high one go, just ducks away underneath it. Just using the whole plate here, moving the ball around the zone, trying to draw her into a swing there, but Anzu wanted nothing to do with that one. Yeah, certainly didn't want to touch that. Another high ball. Second game of the day here. Beautiful conditions for softball here at Blacktown. Not too hot. Sun is shining beautifully upon the ground. Swings at a high one. Just bumps it away into the back net for a foul. So Anzu will take up position once again. Three balls, two strikes here on Kawamoto. Leaves a high four, one. Four. Yeah, she gets it. Loads the bases. They've already scored three runs in the top of the first here, Japan. You better for Japan. Number eight, Karina Sujikawa. Sujikawa. Crouches down in the stance yeah. there, but the umpire didn't want to borrow that. She said, sorry, standing up, that's in your strike zone. <laughs> no use ducking. In the normal batter's stance, that's exactly where it was. Punches she goes it. at that. That's puts popped it up. up. Right. Third base takes the catch. Yeah. And that's a third out. So three runs scored for Japan Princess. And it will be the Slammers who will get their first opportunity with the bat here as we make our way into the bottom of the first. Yeah, nice work there. Uh, Japan loaded bases. Able to strand those runners out there and 
only keep them to three runs. That last game, they were very dominant. Yeah, five runs in each innings. Just a reminder for the viewers, if this is your first game, it is five runs across the plate. We'll end the innings. Again, international rules were played to a modified set of rules just to ensure that the games are fair and even. So the Princess with three runs on the board. And now we await the bats of the Slammers to see what they can add to the scoreboard. It'll be interesting. Um, just to see the, uh, I guess, the pitching quality here coming in. So the pitcher for this one is... China, China Kawai. Kawai. Ah, oh, the throw she from the throw. catcher. Just is fantastic. <laughs> it's beautifully executed. Well, the team team have a uh, little preparation. Jump up and down, get yeah. together in a circle. Infield together, facing the outfielders. So all team are together. And top of the line up here. Yamashita is the catcher. What an arm she's got. That one goes low in for a ball. Lead off banner for the New South Wales Slammers. Number six, Ashley Fryer. So Fryer faces off here. And the infield rushing in, looking for the bunt. They certainly are. Look at the third base is right down there. Almost out of the blocks in a pitching... In a... Uh, Sprinting stance, again, high ball outside the zone, so no damage done. Three balls here for Fryer. As a batter, that's the count you want to be facing. Opportunity yeah. here. Most definitely. You notice the Japanese team infield In. where the chess guards, so all the young girls wearing full chess guards yeah, and all the protection. young boys as well are wearing full chess guards as they play. And I think if you just look at the energy in the field, they're, they're very active. They're in on the pitches. And I guess that offers that little bit of... That's a nice bunt from Fryer. Nice. Third base oh. comes across <laughs> and picks it up. They were waiting on that the whole time. They wanted the bunt to go down. And what defence? Well, the third baseman picked that up down the first baseline and got the throw right on the money. Kua Subby snuck that one. A little shark attempt, I think. <laughs> for old first base. New batters for the Slammers. Number nine, Lara Ludbrook. Yeah, Lara Ludbrook now. Ooh, fouls that one off into the back net. A nice contact there for Lara. One and one will be the count. Ooh, great pitch. Strike all right there. on the money for Chin Up. Japanese boys making me jealous here. They're sitting down in front having lunch here. I I was just down with the uh, the Japanese contingent and they all have bento boxes ready prepared. They look outstanding. Uh, got a little hit there. And at second base, four to three play, too good. Yeah, she jumped in on that one, beautifully anticipated. That was Sujikawa. Who picked it up nicely, got the throw over to one in time. Suji Kawa to Kawamoto. And they make the play. You better for the Slammers, number 12, Rose Santana. Yeah, Rose Santana up. 
That one down low in the dirt. Let's that go through for ball. Ooh, swings at that, but goes foul down the third base line. It's back to have another go. One on one now the count. Again, fouled off. So Santana here, two and two, the count. Two out, so Santana has to get it, the job done. And Third out. swing and a miss on that occasion. Sorry, we were... Just entertaining some of our Japanese visitors. Yes. Saying hello in the windows up here. Uh, and that one, a swing and a miss, so unfortunately. The third for... out for the Slammers. And that's all she wrote. So 3-0 the lead as we make our way into the top of the second. You see the, the energy. Yes, they're doing a couple of star jumps. Some calisthenics. High knees. It is great. I mean, the the atmosphere out here, as we've talked about in that first game, there's over 100 people in the um, touring contingent, supporters, that is, of this uh, Japanese network. And it's an outstanding thing to bring that many people to Australia. And we, we thank them for coming out here and for joining us here at Blacktown. And the atmosphere, the colour and the, the sounds here at Blacktown are just outstanding. So if you are in the area, this is a beautiful day to enjoy some international junior softball. And there's 61 players they've put there It's amazing. Brought. And during the uh, the opening ceremony, I heard Stu, uh, Stuart talk about the fact that we are, you know, pushing to try and get some teams to tour Japan in the not-too-distant yeah. future. Which is going to be fantastic for us to be able to send some kids over to Japan to... Uh experience the culture over there and play some wonderful softball. Lead off banner for Japan. Number 20, China Kusakabe. Yeah, China Kusakabe back to the top of the lineup. He got through the lineup in that first inning. Ball. Just the three runs scored. She got on by balls on base last time. Swing and a miss at that one. Low on the outside. She had a big chop. I like seeing that. I like seeing these girls go hard at the ball. And they certainly did. Yeah, I'm with you. Much prefer to see that intent, that passion in that swing. Another hard swing. Just commitment to the task. Coaching instructions coming from the first base coach in this one. Yes. Oh, nice. Nice. No. Thought she tried to sneak that down that line then. I think that was the intention. Down the and third base line. Nelly came off but just slipped into foul territory. Look at the coach giving the instruction again. Coach giving the instruction again. It's, I want you to push it harder down that third base line. That one. Just in the, in dirt, the dirt gets away. Nice pitch, just a little bit high there. Yeah, just working the ball right around the zone. Well, you put him in the middle and these Japanese batters really hit it hard. That one high outside the zone again. Kusakabe not wanting any of that. Full count here. 
trying to be smart, the pitch up, just by working the corners. Well, after Chinna took those couple of heavy swings, pitcher just moving the ball around the zone. Because Akabi punches that one down the third baseline, gets away from the fielder. See the speed there from Kushikabi. She hit that to third base. The ball ricocheted off the glove down. By the time they looked to pick the ball up, she touched first base. That uh, is super quick. I'd say a steal on the first pitch. Uh, oh. Except for the foul. <laughs> for a little foul tip. New batter for... Japan Princess, number five, Nanako Tanaguchi. Yeah, Tanaguchi. Again, patient. Balls on base last time. Hello to uh, anyone in Japan watching this one tonight, uh, today. The kids over here are having a wonderful time. Tanaguchi fouls that one away. Oh, tried to hold the hands back there. The, yeah. It was more about the ball finding the bat, I think, on that occasion. Yep. So one ball, two strikes here against Nanako. See what she can do here to get out of this one. High ball. Ooh. And look at the runner. Advances to two and, and takes half. nearly halfway to three. <laughs> wow, their running is fantastic to watch. Just asking questions continually, putting the pressure on the field to, to make a choice. And that's... Just if you're watching at home, kids, that's exactly what you want to do. Listen to your coaches. Ball low on the outside. Ooh, big lead again from second base. Had to put the big brakes on. Yeah, when you see the dust fly up, you know they've they've slammed them on hard. It's, uh... Ooh, high, high grab nicely. It was a nice throw, but just the runner, again, with anticipation, beats it. So a base on balls there for Tanaguchi. Second one in a row, is it? Yep. You better, number two, you are Yamashita. You are no. Yamashita. Oh, she flexed then, wanted a piece of it, but held the hands back. It was a great pitch, too. It was a nice pitch. Just, just missed. Just been wide, I'd say. From here. We were at a bit of an angle from the plate, so... Again. Another stolen base. The two runners on here, second and third. So... Yamashita hitting in the three hole. Let's see what she can do with these runners on. That's a oh, nice line drive oh, through the pivots. Please. Finds the grass in centre field. A little juggle. That hit will score two runs. So loose throw makes its way back into the infield. Potentially. You don't do that against Japan. They will steal a run on you. So I would say next time. Yeah. I'll be wise for Lucas to throw that back to second base. You better for Japan Princess, number 16, Miyu Takashima. Miyu Takashima. Took a ball for the first pitch. Powerfully built. You're going to clean up hole. Runner on one. Swings and misses. Gives an acknowledgement to a coach. Just, just love their engagement with everybody in the game, their opposition, their coaches, so respectful of the umpires. 
One low on the inside. Again, gets a signal and acknowledges the coach with a bow. Two balls, one strike here for Takashima. It's a nice pitch. Just drew the swing. Oh, good catch by the coach. Yeah, off the net. But it wasn't a one-hander, so she <laughs> Not stays <out>. in. <laughs> um, I want to bring that rule in. I think that'd be... <laughs> the, um, it's two and two, the count. She's got... You know the one thing I've noticed about this batter? Unlike, unlike a lot of her counterparts in her team... She stays really nice and upright to drive the ball hard. She's a yep. taller girl than most of her teammates. She really looks like she's got some power to hit this ball hard if it gets in that zone. See what she can do. Takashima here lets a high one go for a fourth ball. So she'll make her way to first with the base on balls. Just delicately slides a bat over to the, to the dugout so it doesn't get any scratches. Better. Uniform number 10, Karin Arakawa. Arakawa here. Runners on one and two. None out for Princess. Oh. Hits that one. The runner, Miu, has to evade. Get out of the way of it. And a nice Miu, safe yeah. hit to right field. Scores another runner. Miu, gee. <laughs> Heads up play there. That ball was going to line drive her right in the helmet. She stood. Did a little bit of a, a flex backwards and the ball goes to the outfield and she gets the second base. You better number 14, Jina Kawai. So Kawhi here. One ball Runners down. at one and two. Three runs scored this innings. Again, we're looking for five runs to score, and then the innings will change as we see the runners advance on a ball that goes over the top of the catcher's glove into the back net. The pitcher a little frustrated out there. Aman Zakria. Iman, yeah. She just needs to stick, trust the process and just keep rolling that arm over. Very capable pitcher, Aman. There's a swing and a miss. Yeah, that's a great pitch. Great backup pitch, that one, coming back. Yeah, uh, just got to have faith in your pitches. Just have faith. Um, let go at the hip and know that it's going to go in. One ball, two strikes. That one way over the top again. Runners coming home. No play at the plate. Zakria was just a little bit slow in getting in there and cover. Yeah, you need to know. Once that comes out of the hand that's going like that, the first thing as a pitcher, you need to be sprinting to that plate, hold any runner at third base, but she didn't, and the runner steals home quickly. And just on that, JB, the way the, the speed that ball came back, that ball was back at the plate in time. Yep. And I think if Zakria was just in that little bit quicker... Could have been Potential a play. Yep. Check. She held the hands back beautifully there. Kawhi. A full count. So, Chino Kawhi here. There's a Korea. Oh, nice piece. So, Kawhi pops it up to right field. going to say Holds that. Holds up on the... That is right into the slot. Too far. Oh, it's five runs over. It's not. The coach is wondering why he's held up. It's five over the plate. Side away. Yeah, the five call. across the plate. Just the umpire not quite sure there. <laughs> A bit of a delayed reaction. We had crowd coaches telling him that it was five runs across the plate. Because I, I looked up and the runner stayed at first base. She didn't steal second. And I'm sitting there going, that's a loose throw. They're going to steal all day. And that's because the, um, the coach has had his hand up for five runs over. So an 8-0 lead here for the Japanese team. Make our way into the bottom of the second. 
Charlotte Bedwell, I think, is the next batter up uh, for this Slammers team. And yep. let's say Charlotte is a extremely good batter. So we'll see if she can get a good start this time for the Slammers and get them going. As you say there for Bedwell, the opportunity to come in and start, you know, start the, the bats blazing for the Slammers. Trail by eight, but they can get back into it here. Yeah, definitely. Definitely be in this one. Well, that throw... Not quite on the mark. Chinna Kawaii pitching nicely for this Japanese team. Interestingly, pitching with a shin guard. Lead off batter, uniform number two, Charlotte Bedwell. Bedwell watches that one low on the inside for a ball. Looks down the third baseline, gets the instructions. Set to go. She swings hard at that one. That was a nice swing too. Just took the top of the ball, punched it away foul. Another powerful stance here from Bedwell. And hands up to the ball. Just puts it foul again. But good intent here, JB. You said she'd go after it. Yeah, definitely. She's a very strong hitter of the ball. So she showed her intent, as you said. Anything in her zone, she will go quickly. Good hand speed at the ball. Punches that one down the third baseline, but just gets over the glove of the fielder at third base into foul territory. The thing about Charlotte is she'd be she's one of their the best pitchers in this age group as well. She's a very very good pitcher. Um, it's a very good utility player. Long Play shortstop, definitely one of the lead batters here. So she gets a chance here. Swings at a high oh, one, and she wasn't happy with herself. Yeah. She didn't need to do that. That one was well out of a zone. But her, her swing plane puts that ball right between the seven and eight fielders in that outfield, and they are really shallow. And if she'd really hit that, that could have been a triple. Uniform number eight at the plate for New South Wales Slammers, Shataya Lucas. Yeah, Shataya Lucas now. She fouls that one off. Two strikes here for Shatea. See what she can do. Little half oh, swing at that yeah, one. Wasn't committed. Did. Didn't hold back in time. Unlucky. That one was low. A bit. She didn't pick it to late. And... Strike called. So two outs. You batter for the Slammers, number 13, the pitcher, Aman Zakria. Aman Zakria now. Hits a it's high a hole, ball yeah. in the right field, safe. And the throw in time wow. for the out. How often do you see it? You get yourself a hit to right field and get thrown out at first base. Yeah, nice heads up softball there by the Japan team. They could have, as you said, not often you see that play in right field. Or right field is where you're going to see it. But beautifully anticipated. She let it bounce and then just settled and got the throw in time. So that's three up, three down for the second time for the Slammers. Yeah, Kiku out there. She 
what she did so well as the right fielder was she anticipated the bounce on the ball. She sprinted in because they were shallow, but it was even going to bounce in front of her. She ran in, picked it up, and the throw was just no different to an infield throw. Fired it to first base and made the out. Great play. Uh, Zachary uh, got the hands up high in the strike zone to, to get that connection. It looked nice, but just beautifully executed in the field by, as you said there, the right fielder. Suzumi Kiku. So I'm not sure if there may be a change here. Charlotte Bedwell, I think, is going to go into the circle. Yep. Alexis Cherry down there, one of the coaches, and Danny Adam. The other. Danny making the New South Wales over 35s women's team and giving back through coaching. It's great to see a lot of junior coaches here too involved with these teams. Yeah, there is. This is a great opportunity for, as as, a, as you say, Alexis Cherry. Um, she's down there for uh, the Slammers team. And a lot of young. You know, Jake Gleason is head coach of the Strikers in the the boys division. Zoe Taylor's out there as well. Zoe Taylor, yeah, and, and uh, um, young Barrington maybe. Uh, Taj, you're allowed to mention your family, mate. Yeah, it's okay. Taj is uh, coaching the strikers with Jake, um, and there's also Jade, uh, Jado out there. Riley Arnott, I saw her floating around as well. Right, she's out Riley there. Riley Arnott, Jade Jensen. She's coaching the Strikers, the Orange team. It's just great to see all of these coaches out there and senior coaches involved as well, program that are in the, you know, the state programs as such. Yeah. It's, it's a brilliant way for them to start down at this level and they'll only get better for it. Saw Jack Besgrove floating around the Diamonds as well earlier this morning. I saw Jack Besgrove serving in a canine just wow. <laughs> an hour ago. I think he was trying to get himself something to eat, but he was certainly serving a few of the others. Playing in Japan, Venezuela, the USA one minute and back in the canteen here at Blacktown the next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's what softball's all about. And that's what this tournament's all about, that, you know, putting back in, having fun, just enjoying our sport. And Jack was just actually down in the bullpen with a couple of the younger uh, pitchers here from New South Wales, just um, working on a bit of technique work with them, which is good to see. A bit of a delay here as well as the umpires go through the changes. The colours, the atmosphere out here is sensational here at Blacktown. It is fantastic. A short a slight stop. delay here, not sure what's going on. A little bit of... Communication with coaches and umpires. A little bit of translations for yeah, that occur that's... with the Japanese team. We talked about the Japanese influence here as well, but we've got the, the boys from New Zealand. You yeah. commentated their games last night. Excellent, excellent. And I actually coached against them on Wednesday night. I, uh, my, uh, my young team out at uh, Mounties played them. Um, you said they had an interesting after-match handshake uh, call? Oh, yeah, yes. Plenty of... Uh, so there was Howdy Mate, Crikey. Crikey. Uh, they were all the handshaking terms getting thrown out there. Sup, bro? On, on ya. Oh, g'day, mate. They were trying all the all the Cuz. languages. No, no, they just no, stick, Cuz. stuck with the Aussies. I had two crikeys, a g'day, mate, about three times. Thanks, mate, about four times. So they did well. They did really well. Oh, we love it. Played fantastic. Um... The other night, it was good to see. 
got to face some of their. They've got two or three. Sorry, they got. They have got three really good pitchers in that that young team. Uh, the 13 boys that they've brought out here. So um, plenty of variety. But they only threw the one last night into both games. Lead off batter for Japan Princess, number 25, Tazumi Kiku. So now we're back here with Kiku up to bat. And Charlotte Bedwell's now pitching. And I think you'll find... This might be a tad harder for it's the a Japanese. Good speed. Uh, we'll... This uh, speed and a lot more accurate too. Slow on the outside. This that commentator's curse again. <laughs> Look, I trust she'll become good. <laughs> <laughs> one high, one down low, but no, no, she's a good pitcher. Certainly has brought the energy there. Rolling the arm over. Very quickly. Two balls, one strike here for Bedwell. Let's see what she can do. That's a nice pitch. Yeah, it's a strike. Yeah, absolutely. That's a beautiful pitch. Good speed. Two and two, the count. Chance here. Change up. Doesn't find the range. Just a little bit outside there. Yeah, just floated wide on up. Good change of pace, though. Really good, smart heads-up play. Straight down the middle again, fouled away by Kiku. That was good work from Kiku. That ball was quick down the middle, but she was able to get Got a bat on it there. Late, just, just in time to stay in the count. Yep. And strike three. Bedwell gets a K2 to open her account. New batter for Japan Princess. Number 15, Anzu Kawamoto. Kawamoto. Strike one on Kawamoto. Bedwell has really brought a change here for the Slammers. Nice speed, and as you said, the accuracy, it's always around. It's another beautiful pitch down the middle and beats Anzu. So what can Anzu Kawamoto do here? Well, an 0-2 count straight away. Swing and, and a miss. There you go. Back-to-back -back K2s. So good injection into the pitcher's circle here for the Slammers. Bedwell getting the job done. New batter for Japan Princess. Number eight, Karina Sujikawa. Bunts a high ball up in the zone. Gets a connection and fouls it away. So two out here, no runs this time for Princess. Yeah, it's a big change when uh, I guess the Slammers bring on undoubtedly their ace pitcher. Called strike. Sujikawa watched that one. Thought it might have been a little bit high, but the umpire... He liked it, and that's all that matters. So now two strikes. Chance here. Hard contact in the ground. Back to the pitcher. Bedwell just sets herself, gets the throw, and the out made it one. Nice innings there for the Slammers. Certainly is. And I say this, great catching too from behind the plate. That was well done. Tia Brooker. She caught beautifully. So three up, three down for the first time. Princess. The, yeah, the princess will certainly uh, certainly uh, have seen the strong side there, the slammers that really coming hard defensively in that inning. The Japanese 
team into their warm up. Still Shina Kawai in the circle. This beautiful throw from the catcher. Yeah, she's outstanding, the catcher. Yamashita. Such a uh, weapon of an arm. New South Wales Slammers lead off batter for this inning, number 11, Lauren Rolfe. So she's come in. Yeah, Rolfe's come in to this one. She gets, gets her hands hold of that. to it. Oh, the short stop. <laughs> Just settled underneath it beautifully. Arm up to hold everyone off. Tanaguchi just said, that's mine. Makes the catch. Uniform number four, Tia Brooker. Swings a high ball, does Brooker. Opening strike. Might throw this out there. She swung at a high ball. They'll stick at it. Stick at it. It is a little bit high. Just right outside the zone, that one. Brooker holds the hands. So you're right. Just say... It went back to the well. Brooker gets a piece of that one. Glove beautifully over her shoulder by the first base. That's uh, Kawamoto yeah, out there. Yeah, Enzu Kawamoto. Kawamoto. What an excellent piece of play. Brings up the number one. Uniform number one, Abby Barnes. Yeah, Abby Barnes up to bat. Again, contact. So good intent there from Barnes. Yep. First pitch, she wanted a piece of it. It looked, it looked like it was there to be hit. So Kawhi just giving the the batters something to aim at, knowing that she's got that solid defence behind her. Again, contacted a high one, fouled away. Danielle Adam down there, giving these signals, giving two, plenty of encouragement. Two strikes here for Barnes. What can Abby do? Let's the high one go this time. She wasn't going to be drawn into that one. Said if I have to look up at it, I'm not going to put my hands to it. Here she goes. One ball, two strikes. Checks. Nah, yes, Did she? Got her. Not in time. Yep, yep. The little, the little dabble <laughs> with the bat. Couldn't with hold the hands back. A little dabble, do ya? And that's all it took. That's another K2 for the Japan pitcher Kawhi. Yeah, chin up. So three up, three down for each of the Slammers innings. And it is 8-0 on the scoreboard here in this game between the Japan Princess and the New South Wales Slammers. Yeah.
Lead off battle for Japan Princess, number 20, China Kusakabe. So Kusakabe leads us off here for Japan Princess. Strike call. Another nice pitch from Charlotte Bedwell. Kusakabe is swinging a miss. Yes, yeah, swung at that one low. Probably could have let that one go, but she tempted her and she obliged and went at it. Strike two. Swings at a high one. That one gets away from the catch up, but there's no chance she's going to throw her out at one. She was like lightning up there. Yeah, just a little bit high. Just tipped off the glove enough to get away. Nanako Tanaguchi. You better uniform number five. Strike there for Tanaguchi. A nice bunt put back to the pitcher. Fielder's choice gets the throw to one in time for the out. But nice a runner advances play. to second. Nice play. Bedwell come down. Picked it up. Fires it to one. And the one to three play gets the out. But the runner advances to second base for Japan. So the batter doing the job there. You batter for Princess. Number two, you are Yamashita. Yamashita, she looks like she's ready to really try and rip in here and hit hard. She does so. Fouls that off onto the roof of the bar. A junior tournament, mate. We'll call it the shelter. Yeah, well, lunch area. That's it. It is. A, the there the is undercover de lunch area. There's definitely no bar here this weekend. It's all closed up, and it's a nice area just to sit back in the uh, picnic tables and have something to eat. Out of the sun. A nice pitch from Bedwell. Just didn't get the call she wanted, but it was a beautiful rollover of the arm. Two balls, one strike. And no netting in front of the bar either, so you're in play. Mm, that Chance is the one to take thing. A well, crowd catch. As we say, lunch area. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> take a crowd catch, or you might end up with a boy in a Caesar salad. <laughs> Three balls, one strike. Yamashita watches that one. Take the corner of the plate for a called strike. So full count here for Yua. One out for Princess. Runner on two. She hits that one, What's pops that? it up. Third base. And oh! Short stop coming around. It's a third base has made the catch. The collision was right on there, but just gets called off in time. Rose Santana just got the glove to it and made the catch at third base. Make that second out. Wow. <laughs> I thought that could have been anything then. Could have been dangerous. Number 16, Miyu Takashima, the new batter for Japan Princess. Takashima. Had a bit of a late swing at that one. Ooh, and that one's hit her. She gets her right on the thigh. She gets down to first base, and the head, the coach doesn't seem too fussed and doesn't even acknowledge and goes to make a change. I thought we might have a change here, yep. Yeah. The number 10... Coming up to bat. Yeah, Karin Arakawa. That's her position in the lineup. Yep. So he's they're definitely after the run up. He's talking about the 
Change the runner here potentially with the, the hit. So, although he didn't, um, you see, he didn't pay too much attention to the runner as he made her way up first base. He was intent on talking to the umpire. Through the translator, obviously, here. Uh, hit her on the thigh. She hasn't even flinched, and she she's just flinch. actually gone up to first base. She's actually quite okay, but... So, Coach, looks like we have a runner waiting to come out of the dugout. Definitely looks like she's prepared to take up place on first base. Yep. So out comes the runner. It'll be uniform number seven, Manami Takamatsu. Yeah, Takamatsu coming on. and She's been playing um, left field but has the designated player in the batting lineup. You better for Japan Princess, number 10, Karin Arakawa. So Arakawa it is. First ball was called a ball by the umpire. That one. A little bit more speed. Ball again. So two balls here for Arakawa. Swings this time. So Bedwell just working that speed ball down the middle. Yes, we're going to miss on that occasion. No run scored yet here in this inning. Two out. That's a big swing. She looks over at the coach. Coach giving plenty of instructions yeah, there for first base. Contact this time driven hard down the first baseline, picked up by Zachria, and she'll get the out at one. So no runs scored that time. Runners left on second and third for the Princess, and the Slammers get the job done there, JB. Yeah, they do. And again, great piece of uh, pitching. Um, it was a nice actual uh, hit, that one. It, it, she drove it hard, mm. and uh, great work from the first base. She picked that one up cleanly. And it was Aman there. She picked that ball up nice and clean and just played a base, made the third out. Men's innings. So Japan, scoreless in the last two innings, which is very unusual for them. As you call, the injection of Bedwell has really changed the game for the Slammers here, but they, they need to bat themselves and get some runs on the board. Correct. It's where they're probably... You know, three innings, three up, three down. Yep. They, they need to get a runner on at least to to try and spark something. Yeah, you just need to push, you know, try and do something different. Maybe a, I don't think the push bunt down the third baseline or the bunt is going to work with the way their defensive lineup is here for Japan. So I think they're going to need to um, maybe a slap hit through the gap. We'll get them safe. This and the outfield is so shallow for Japan. So one good piece will help. Top of the lineup here for Slammers, number six, Ashley Fryer. So Fryer leads us off here. Bottom of the fourth. The catcher looking back at the umpire. Yeah, the umpire is called ball, but... I definitely saw a little nibble at it with the bat. Another again. one. Tempted bunt. Foul ball this time. It's just, uh, yeah. That one. Not sure if the umpire took took that one into the body. It just yeah. takes some time to brush the plate off. Looked pretty clean from up here. <laughs> it looked very clean, but I tell you what, it gave you a good 10 seconds to take a breath. That one's a ball. So two balls, one strike here for Ashley Fryer. High in the zone. No play on that one. 
So Fry doing a job here, pushing. Look at the speed that Shina <clears throat> Kusakabe gets down the third baseline. As soon as that bat comes around, she's flying down the baseline. Yeah. Here she is again. The anticipation beautifully executed. And that is a great display if you're watching at home, how to play the bases in on the bunt. She was set like she's about to explode from a uh, set of, you know, the, the blocks. The starting blocks. Uh, at the Athletics Carnival. Ready to go. You batter for the Slammers, number three, Zoe Bloom. Zoe Bloom. Oh, she now goes for the bunt, Bloom. But again, the third base, she is just too powerful. So... As a coach now, you've seen that happen what, three times now, I think, in this game. I've never laid a bunt down this innings. I would be saying nothing down the third baseline. Well, she's even covering the first baseline. She's doing that well. They go for the bunt again. for a bunt again. Number 12 in the box for the New South Wales Slammers, Rose Santana. See, unless Rose can push bunt that ball right along the first baseline, far enough... At out of the catcher's reach and out of the first base reach, uh, sorry, uh, the third base reach, there's no use trying to put a bunt down. Here, the shape to bunt again, and Kusakabe was right down the line. Almost able to give her a handshake. Another high pitch. No. No movement of the pitch there or towards the pitch. So a ball is the call. Two balls. Two out here for the Slammers. It's on Santana. Oh, again. Gets a bunt oh. down. Foul this time, but picked up and shot over to first. Chinna down there at third base is just unbelievable. It's like a seagull on a drop chip. <laughs> It's hardly hit the ground before she's on it. Yeah, she is on it all right. Looks like Harvey. That's oh, a nice that's piece. It. Hit hard to the shortstop, but again, beautifully picked up. Sets herself for the throw and gets the out at one. Regulation yeah. out. Three up, three down. Four innings in a row. Tanaguchi there. Six to three play. Makes the out. And unlucky, the Slammers can't make any more progress. It's just clinical from Japan Princess. And again, the pitcher putting the ball in there to be hit, knowing that she's got that defense behind her. Yep. Very confident. And it will be Charlotte Bedwell that will make her way back out into the circle. So they... Stick with Charlotte, and she's done an amazing job since she's come into the game for the Slammers. The top of the fifth now. Well, since uh, Bedwell's come in, we've gone nil, 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 nil. Yeah. The last two innings. This is the third innings now. So 8 0 is the score. Those first two innings doing the damage for Japan Princess. And we have a, a new batter, a new entry into the game for the Princess. Yes. The uniform number 17. Aloha, Aloha Yoshimura. Yeah, Aloha Yoshimura. Nice. So changes are being made by the umpire. True to the both teams. New entry into the game for Japan Princess. Uniform number 17. Aloha, Yoshimura. Aloha, Yoshimura. Oh, that one. 
fired wide. Yoshimura takes a ball to open her account. Called strike. Aloha just looked back at the umpire there, so she had suspicions, and the umpire confirmed it. A one on one. The account for Yoshimura. Let's that one go as well. Called strike. And Yoshimura looks to the coach, gets the signal now. One ball, two strikes. And a strike Ooh, out, Danny K2 for Yoshimura. Wow. Yoshimura there. Just thought it was a little wide, I think. You better for Princess, number 25, Tazumi Kiku. The coach was just explaining where he felt that ball was wide and it should have been attacked uh, to the young player as she went in to the dugout. And as Check they always swing. do. JB, just the, other, the catcher checking. No, she didn't. That's a good yeah. call from the third base umpire. The, uh, the, the player took the comments from the coach and gave a yep. bow and fully understood. I think the coach was saying we've got to make sure we're at least attacking those balls. So two balls, three balls now for Kiku. Tazami Kiku. Let's that one go by. Kiku makes her way to first base. Up to the plate for Japan Princess, number 15, Enzu Kawamoto. Kawamoto now up to bat. It's the first runner we've had Ooh. on base for a little while. She Japan. fouls that one off down the first baseline. Got onto it. Yes, it is the first runner we've had out there. Apart from Miyu Takashima, who took the, the ball into the thigh. So Enzu here. See what she can do. Nice pitch. Just didn't quite find the mark, but it was great speed. Good well, just checking the runner. Swing and oh, a miss. Great, great pitch. Kawamoto just wanting a chance to have a hit here. One ball, three strikes. Uh, two strikes. What am I saying? Three strikes, JB. Yeah, no, no. We'll, we'll take the two. There That's the third strike. The third strike. So I was just anticipating. Your commentator's curse for the batter. <laughs> for the commentator. <laughs> Number eight, Karina Sujikawa. That one down and low, and the runner will advance to two. Advance to two. It has a look at three, too. Just comes around, holding the helmet on. A nod of acknowledgement to the coach on third base as well. So she'll be ready to go. As Sujikawa sets herself at the plate. High ball, this time picked up beautifully by the catcher. Brooker, it is behind the plate for the Slammers. Yeah, good call. Nice pitch from Bedwell. Just nonchalantly turns around, goes back to the plate, ready to go all over again. Two balls, one strike here. Two out for the Princess. Foul the way. Fouls that off, yep. Sujikawa. Heads back to two second. Ball, two balls, two strikes, two outs. So that's Kawamoto heads back to second. 
Sujikara is in the box. He watches another pitch. Pass for a strike. And that is a K2 to round out the innings. So, no run scored again since Bedwell comes into the game, into the circle. And we are at 8 nil as we make our way into the bottom of the fifth. Yeah, it's... Uh, those eight runs, though, <laughs> that were leaked in the first two innings are seemingly very hard to... to peg back. Peg back, as you say, yeah. So, let's see what we can do here. Again, they, they got contact in that last innings. There was yes. some good batting. Just the fielding precision of this Japanese princess lineup. There didn't seem to be any uh, any holes out there. Ah, this is a change in pitcher. Yeah. This is Aloha. He's I think this came in. with the yeah the yeah. change. Yeah, it's Aloha in the lineup. So Yoshimura is the new pitcher. Seat pitcher. Yeah, she's trying to find a range here. There we go. That was the one. They've all got this uh, leg guard. Maybe it's from the way they launch from the plate. plate. They could yeah. flip their back calf or back heel, so it's there to protect that. So we'll get this in the stride. Yeah. Might be something we might be able to find out between games. Yeah. Man of your uh, connections. Be able to get down there in the dugout and do your best we Japanese might translation. Even, might even see if we could wear one up here in case <laughs> we get hit. <laughs> and that first one has been fouled off. No. Charlotte Bedwell went straight at that and has fouled that off. First pitch, it's gone straight up and caught by the catcher. You are Yamashita. Yamashita. She has been unreal down there. Oh. That's hit the handle of the bat. Hit the hand as well. Better in the box for the Slammers is number eight, Shatea Lucas. I thought that hit the bat, not the hand. No, she, sh she shook her hand. Yeah, I don't think it did. I think it hit the, the nub of the handle. The hand was oh, down right. there, but it definitely came off bat. Right, well, yep, yeah, she doesn't get to advance the one. I think Danny Adam was trying to get her the one. No, absolutely. And, and Try anything to get one on. You've got to ask the question, but the umpire yeah. called it very, very early. And I think you got that one 100% right. So Lucas resets, one on one the count. Hits that one hard to shortstop who picks it up on the hop, gets the throw over in time for the out. Two dead. Never in doubt. The slammers. That ball, as soon as it went into the glove there of the shortstop there, uh, uh, Taniguchi, it was over. And is that time and game? It must be time and game. So, yeah, time and game. The games yes. are set to time. 12.46 is our time. And it is 8-0 in favour of the Japan Princess to round that one out. Good performance from both teams. Definitely. For the Princess, they are on song with their infield and also the outfield. We saw that play at that right field. So a fantastic performance by the princess. Yeah, and it goes to show the slammers when they uh, when they wanted to, they turned it on and they held that Japan team to nil in the last three innings. Didn't get themselves any runs, but were able to hold Japan. So uh, they've certainly got plenty up their sleeve. Um, so a great game. Well, the next game will be at one fifteen here. Our boys from across the ditch. Yeah, or New ditch. Zealand. We'll be playing the Japanese champion team. So Japan champion take on ISA New Zealand here in the boys at 1.15. Stick around or come back. Go and grab a drink, something to eat, and come and join us for that game as we get underway at 1.15 p.m.